adding a logo to your new Google site. Find a uh, image without a background. I'm choosing this PNG, which doesn't have a background. I know that because I looked. And you need a small image. Avatar 100 pixels works well for iClipArt for schools. Google suggests that your logo should be about 112 pixels um, high. Uh, if you want to try one a little bigger, go ahead and download that image. Make sure you know where your little image is. Notice I've got this checkerboard gray and white, so that again confirms that it is a PNG image. And I'm just going to name it Froggy. Next step, it's easy. Go up to your uh, Google site, hover over the three setting icon until the more comes up. And then if you go right in here, you get a couple of choices which are kind of interesting. Uh, you can go ahead and change how people navigate your site. It could be a side navigation drop-down menu, or you could keep it the um, menu where the items are across the top. To add a logo, notice, add a logo. Upload it. So now you have to find it. And you have a couple of choices. You can choose to uh, keep the background. Uh, I think logos look best when they are transparent, unless there is something about the background you really like. And then simply um, click out of it, and there it is. The nice thing about logos is that, for those in the know, they know that any time they click on the logo, they will go back to the home page. Uh, it also is like a business. They always like to have logos that are a visual representation of their uh, company or business. In this case, your business is your portfolio. So try adding a logo to your portfolio.